Today we are going to take a look at image space testing. Let's get started. Any Squish 6.4 release is able to do image space testing. I have Squish 6.4.3 installed and using Python as script language. And also I have created a test suite already. Let's start with the record. The application I'm using is a chess game which is programmed by Philipp Höfer. Bring the control bar in the foreground. We're clicking on insert. Mouse click on image. The IDE is back up and the screen was captured. We can use the default search area and move this one around. We can just change the size of the default area or we could just define a completely new area. Once we are happy with our area we have to click, we enter a name because the area will be saved as a screenshot. So I am repeating the process of inserting a new mouse click. Since we have one image saved, we got an offer to use this image again. I would like to move a chess piece, so I need to create a new image. And now I also repeat the process as before. Choosing the chess piece I would like to move. Spend a specific name for this image. We see that we have the pawn in our hand by moving the cursor around. And now I need to click on a field where I would like to put the chess piece. So which is this black field here. Our move was performed. Let's stop the record for now and take a look at the generated script. We see three different mouse click calls which are synchronized with wait for image. Waiting for this image to appear on the screen which will then hand over the coordinates to the mouse click function and the mouse click function will click exactly where the image was found. The named occurrence means that an image was found multiple times on the screen. Seems like that the image of the black field isn't that good or wasn't the best picture since it was found multiple hundred times. Let's change the occurrence property to 5 to raise a problem since there are only 4 white pawns on black fields. The default timeout for wait for image is also 20 seconds as for wait for object or all the other synchronization functions. And now we see the screen that pops up once an image wasn't found with the given details. Yeah, we have three different options now. We can update the image. Image that we are searching for got replaced with a new one. We could add a new image.
or we could adjust the search parameters. As we see here, four instances of the image were found. Four white pawns on black fields, but since I was searching for the fifth one, we ran into this error. We can also see this in the test results. The default settings for the image search can be adjusted in the test suite settings. That's it for today's video. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in trying out Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can also reach us through social media, which are linked in the description below. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Bye!